Good evening everyone, how are you? Hope you're doing good. Today I am going to talk about one of the important antifungal agent that is isavuconazole. Let's go into the topic. Isavuconazole is a triazole that is administered as isavuconazonium pro drug. Isavuconazole is available in both formulations. One is oral and another one is cyclodextrin free intravenous formulations. Administration of oral isavuconazonium with food reduces the area under the curve by about 20%. The parent form isavuconazole sulfate is rapidly hydrolyzed to the active form that is isavuconazole which has a long plasma half-life around 130 hours. It is highly viable around 98 percentage and is more than 99 percentage protein bound in the serum. Oral viability of the active form is 98 percentage. Isavuconazole is eliminated by hepatic metabolism predominantly by CYP3A4 and CYP3A5. Less than 1% of isavuconazole is excreted unchanged in urine. So no renal dose adjustments are needed. So what are the therapeutic uses of isavuconazole? Isavuconazole exhibits a broad spectrum of activity against most E species including Canada species, Cryptococcus gatti and Cryptococcus neoformans and molds like Aspergillus species and most mucorail species complex. This drug is FDA approved for the treatment of invasive aspergillosis and invasive mucormycosis. So what is the dose of isavuconazole? Isavuconazole is dosed as 372 mg isavuconazonium sulfate which is equivalent to 200 mg of isavuconazole which should be given every 8 hourly for the first 6 doses followed by 372 mg of isavuconazonium sulfate by mouth or intravenously once daily starting 12 to 24 hours after the last loading dose. What are the adverse effects of isavuconazole? Isavuconazole is generally well tolerated. GA disorders, pyrexia, hypokalemia, headache, constipation and cough are the most frequently reported adverse effects. Thank you so much for your kind attention and kindly share my lecture to your friends.